Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Market Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3 month lead and tin. I'll start with LME 3 month lead. The market's turn back up from an uneven pipe bottom in mid July has been a seminal moment. And I have to, I'm happy to repeat that again and again. Prices rose up through the short medium moving average currently at 1978. The 50% Fibonacci, the March 20 to March 22 move at 21.35. The lower time extension of the May to June 2021 descending triangle, currently 21.58. The medium moving average, currently 20.01. Stopping finally just short of the declining long moving average, currently 21.52. Seems the rise saw attrition all the way up and finally gave up with a key reversal down back in mid-August. Interestingly, the fall had been initially halted at about the same levels when, we, when it did so back in late June and early July at the 2021 low at 1908. Yet prices decided to still move lower, pushing down to and through the uneven pipe bottom low formed in July and the May 2019 low at 1774. Finally, the October low at 1750 halted the decline and created a successful three-day pattern at the end of September, a bullish morning doji star pattern. This bullish pattern followed through and punched up over the January 2020 high at 2039, but failed to close over it. However, it did break the back of the April to August bearish Andrews pitchfork, closing well over the appetite, currently 1897, as well as the short medium and medium moving averages. This broken upper tine and the whole bearish Andrews pitchfork will be properly retired after this commentary as it has been replaced by the shallower yet still bearish shift pitchfork for the same April to August move. The market is at this moment in between the upper tine currently 2064 and the middle tine currently 1812 of this new bearish shift pitchfork. Looking at what is happening right now, it seems the market is having a fight for trying to push, well, with trying to push down through the medium moving average, currently at 2001, and it may soon have to pick another fight with the short medium moving average, currently at 1978, which is just below that. These two moving averages and the bearish shift pitchfork are the foot soldiers in this fight on opposite sides at the moment. However, by the middle or to end of November, it will all be over, I suspect, as that is when the upper time drops down and crashes into where I suspect the market and the moving averages may be at that time. This brings to the fore a question I asked last week, right at the end of my commentary, and I repeat it and quote, this has given us one further new question. Is the action since late May to date, is it a double bottom or is it something else? This is the open question I'm hoping to have answer, an answer for soon. End of quote. This question is one week closer to being answered. Now, one final point. We are set up for a daily key reversal today. If we close either above 2040 or below 2035, which is actually quite a narrow range, then we will be on. Right now, we're looking at a daily key reversal down. LME 3 month tin. First off, please ignore the different colors of my labels. There is no special significance in these, it's just my charting system playing silly buggers once more. Anyway, the one seeming constant factor here since March until recent days had been the March-based downtrend, currently at 16.930. Well, that is no more and I'll retire this downtrend after this commentary. I wanted to keep it here just for one more week to make sure. Yet despite this destruction of a clear and overt and successful bearish pattern, prices have still continued lower, though at a much more gentler slope, making new lows two weeks ago and ones not seen since early December 2020. Prices have now been testing down to November and October 2020 highs at 19,150 and 18,585. Indeed, there is a band of congestion, not that great, but still something, between about 18,585 up to the low at 19,310. I have to say this congestion zone is not as impenetrable as the congestion area overhead between 22.895 to 24.155, which we saw back in mid-June, early September, acting then as support. Yet unless prices turn around sharply back higher and soon, we'll see this congestion area below being tested once again, so congestion zone below being tested once again. What is interesting is that underneath this 19150 to 15585 congestion zone, 
we have little in the way until seemingly the 17525 air, air, area. Hence this congestion band below is important and one to watch carefully. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.